All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So Jamaica has a new sprinting sensation, and her name is Brianna Williams. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and act like she is all Jamaican with no help from anywhere else. If you're paying attention, her coach name is Otto Bolden. So uh, though she is the fastest in the world right now, under 20, for the 100 meter and the 200 meters, which she just achieved, and we're going to talk more about that in a minute. She has done so under the tutelage of Otto Bolden. Otto Bolden is a Trinidadian. So he's a Trinidadian, and not only just any Trinidadian, he is a Trinidadian Olympian, right? Had his day in the, in the limelight back in the day. So I guess you could call this a Trini Jamaica link up. Big up to Trinidad for this one. Otto still representing well. Now, this is the same young lady that just won three gold medals in the under 17 at the Carifta Games. Just April gone. And now she's just hit up the under 20s and came away with double gold again. Sprinter Brianna Williams took the sprint double as she won the women's 200 meters at the IAAF World Under 20 Championships in Tampere, Finland on Saturday, which is today. Williams clocked a championship record and a new personal best of 22.50 seconds to win the event ahead of American Lauren Rain Williams, who came in at 23.09, while Poland's Natnia Katwila finished third in the national record and personal best with a 23.21. Jamaica's other gold medal on the day came in in the men's 400 meters or 4x100 meters, right? But we're not going to talk about Jamaica's other medals. We're here to talk about this young lady, the new sprinting sensation. All right, so just three months and a few days past her 16th birthday, Williams arrived in Tampere as the youngest entrant, but while likely she will likely leave at its most memorable star as her blistering 22.50 planted her at the number 11 spot on the all-time under 20 200 meter list. Lauren Rain Williams led at the bend, seemingly positioned to finally take a gold medal that has so far eluded the USA as these championships at these championships again the USA by far the winningest nation in the history of the world under 20 championships would be denied so when asked here's what Brianna had to say about the whole thing she said I was a bit tired and nervous before the race and that's it now her ambitions are clearly expanding in the future I want to be the youngest Olympic medalist in Tokyo 2020 but there are a lot of chances to succeed before then as well two days ago Williams became the youngest to win the 100 meter crown which today makes her the youngest to claim the 100 and 200 meter titles so this is history being made. Jamaica, we lick about with Talawa, right? Something to be proud of? Yes, indeed. Something for this young lady to be extremely proud of as her personal goals, yes, but something to lift her nation up as well in the face of the world. Come on, and I remember how proud we felt when Shelly and Fraser Price and Usain Bolt and all the other lightning ones mash up a race and then jog around that track with the Jamaican flag flying in the wind behind them after Shelly Ann stepped out of the game and after Usain retired people were saying uh, there might be is there hope for Jamaica still to control the sprints and here comes in the form of 16 years old just turned 16 as a matter of fact I'm gonna talk more about how proud I am of this young lady for a simple fact that I point out a lot of things that are wrong with our society in Jamaica and our young people 
all over the place and going wrong. I've always said that there are good ones out there that are buckled down and are focused and are doing great things. Here's one and we're going to talk about that in a minute. That's notable enough in, so let's go over this again. Two days ago, Williams became the youngest to win the 100 meter crown, which today makes her the youngest to claim the 100 and the 200 meter title. That's notable enough in and of itself, but such an achievement is rare too. Williams is just the fourth to claim the dash double in the championship's 17 editions, following Jamaican Veronica Campbell-Brown, Bulgaria's so Veronica Campbell Brown is who I was trying to remember her name and so there's another girl from Bulgaria did it in 2006 Veronica Campbell Brown did it in 2000 and Bahamian a Bahamian female did it in 2012 Williams gold medal improved Williams goal improved Jamaica's medal tally to eight and still second place on the gold medal table behind Kenya so big up to Kenya and again I say big up to Trinidad because her coach is Otto Bolden and if you don't know about Otto go look him up all right he ran big for Trinidad in the Olympics back in the day and he's here now coaching a Jamaican that is the fastest in the world under 20 Jamaica's medal tally comprises of three gold medals three silver medals and two bronze medals while Kenya have secured four golds and a bronze for a tally of five all right so big up to this young lady here Brianna Williams we are very proud of you thanks for making us look good and continue to do great things now at a time in our history and place where we are seeing so many of our young people in Jamaica go into crime and violence females all kinds of things that are not Mm, I, 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 won't, I won't even say not godly but all kinds of things that are not I'm lost for words then thinking about the things I've seen on social media recently in recent times so to see one shining like this right in exemplary form making us look good all across the globe giving hope to all the others that are trying and letting them know that hey man it's possible it can be done just buckle down and do the work right we have to say hats off to this young lady. Big up on yourself, Jamaica. Doing well. I'm out. Peace.